Sweet Book Sisters, I'm back with another video and I hope that you're all doing great today and happy. Now I will be presenting to you a video discussing the analysis about what makes Daegook the realest ship of all K-pop ships. I know that you're all excited to watch and listen and learn about this analysis, Big Cook Sisters, but let us first call out our sponsor, File Carpool 07S, for spending $5 for sponsoring this amount. Thank you so much. And Big Cook Sisters, we are going now to analyze the video coming from a YouTube account, which is specifically a Daegook YouTube account or fan account or you can also search his or her username at Peach Leslie. Now without further ado, let's get started. So this is it, Vikok sisters. We are going to have a reaction analysis of this video coming from Orphan account in YouTube. And the video is entitled, What Makes Taekook the Realest Ship? So this is actually posted two years ago, but I have decided to debunk this analysis because I want it to discuss it with you again now to highlight to highlight rather some important details that you should know so this is one hour video so I hope that you will stay until it ends so let's start hi long time no see I missed you all in case you didn't see it and still wonder about why I was on a hiatus, check the community tab. Today, we'll do like a second part of why Taekook is real and we'll base it on a core answer I like a lot. And I hope you like it too. I know this person likes to be discreet about their answers to avoid drama, so please be discreet about it too and I hope they won't be mad at me. Okay, this is it. As for which ship is real, which is not, Honestly, it varies among individual judgment, but the real ships are very very rare especially the ones we can identify. I think the female ones are harder to see, but I am following a pair lately because I don't know why I find them interesting. Male ones are not that hard to identify if you just have enough experience observing people or third wheeling and have some real sexual education. Of course, a lot of things are just assumptions and nothing is 100%, but in my eyes, there is still clear distinction between a couple and friends. Usually, if you've seen enough ships, you... So first, let's pause here. Let us first understand what is this statement right here. Again, Vico sisters, the statement that you are reading right now is from a response from Cora. If you are familiar with Cora, you can actually search it on your Google. You can search anything in Cora and a lot of answers would come would come out if you search anything there. Like for example, if you ask in Cora is Daekook real, is Daekook just friends or anything, even math problems you can see answers in Quora. So here, this is one of one of day cookers or maybe since here he said that he is not a shipper, but he can really easily identify who is in real relationship or not. This person right here giving the statement is is from Quora. Again, that Quora is a website in Google. You can search it. This is his comment in Quora. So, what does this comment mean? It only means one thing. He exactly knows what is the difference between a real relationship or for, for fan service. This person right here said that he can identify easily 
male ones rather than female ones who are engaging into relationships lately. But of course, he also provides a disclaimer that though these are just an assumptions, nothing is 100%, but in his eyes, there is a still distinction between a couple and friends. So with this, in this video, we'll be seeing the distinction of between a couple and friends. So let's continue. Okay, here. Usually, if you've seen enough ships, you will be able to catch the one that stands out to you. Here is my suggestion to people who want to ship romantically instead of brotherly, but don't want to be delusional. So this person right here giving, giving a statement, giving even tips or suggestion to people who want to ship romantically instead of brotherly. So day cookers, we all know that we ship day cook romantically, not just as brothers but romantically, right? Now the first suggestion that he suggested is this. So the, again, the first suggestion is this. You are never going to figure out anything based on physical interaction unless you are an expert studying body language. Again, this person right here said that you won't be able to analyze or figure out a relationship if you are not an expert in studying body language as I said a lot of k-pop artists or idols are close and touchy and the extent they can go with fan service is very far so this person right here knows that k-pop idols are very close even very touchy with each other and even they can go with fan service very far that means even if it will cost them like in South Korea fan service it is very commonly seen we know that now honestly I would even say if the two openly kiss each other in front of camera then unship them romantically here is my favorite quote when you like someone you show it openly but when you love someone you hold it back also body language is again I find it very meaningful Pico sisters do you find it also meaningful when this person right here said exactly this person right here shared his favorite quote when you like someone you show it openly but when you love someone you hold it back also body language is honestly not that easy like there are a lot of contextual things that one has to be aware of and it's just too complicated in my opinion the thing that again makes me feel attached to this quote that this person have said is this when you like someone you show it openly but when you love someone you hold it back are you familiar with this kind of interaction big sisters in your opinion do you often see this kind of interaction like when you like someone you show openly but when you love someone you hold it back do you often see that kind of interaction what comes into your mind when we talk about holding back 
because what comes into my mind is Deco. Deco holds back. They show interaction, they show, they show affection sometimes, but there were many times Deco were holding back. Next, the second suggestion that this person is suggesting is this. So, before reading the suggestion number two, as you can see, this person in Cora talks about how to identify real ships in general. And the first point was related to body language. And with the amount of body language analysis we have had from professionals in body language, I think this point is pretty much covered. There are enough videos that depict Okay, let's go back a little bit What are the signs of being real close? Okay, this guy right here is a professional An expert of body language So actually this guy right here I have actually saw his analysis about Taekook so if you haven't checked it you can also watch his analysis this is an expert person of body language and he analyzes Taekook body language and here let's listen to his statement or his comment or his analysis in describing Taekook body language oh, the way they touch each other's leg and the signs of being real close is the way they touch each other's legs. There are enough videos that depict both Jungkook and V sitting next to each other and either putting their hands on their thighs, caressing each other, hitting softly or playing with the fabric of their pants. And yes, the thighs is a very intimate song that is also considered highly erogenous. And that's why it's hard to imagine that what they have is just a friendship. And here another one is an expert guy again analyzing takeoff behavior analyzing takeoff body language and listen carefully to what he will say menos en el tiempo al que permanecen los videos analizados Jungkook y Taeyong fueron dieron indicios de tener una relación de pareja auténtica and another one right here, a woman who is also an expert, a professional in body language, takes on analyzing Taekook behind the scenes. Okay, 
bueno, qué mayor muestra de intimidad que dormir juntos. Porque no solo dormir juntos, vean cómo hay caricias, hay piojitos, se agarran el cabello, buscan tranquilizarse, se acomodan, se abrazan. Hay este contacto físico, esta intimidad y cercanía y así cada miedo. Pues bueno, como mencionó, dormir juntos también muestra además de esta intimidad que sienten paz y conexión, que hay mucha cercanía. También veamos cómo ellos dos siempre buscan estar juntos a pesar de que todos los demás no estén, como siempre hay ese contacto, les digo, así sea por la ropa o el querer verlo como disfrazarlo, pero siempre hay contacto, buscan cercanía, darle de comer al otro, eso es un gran inicio de esta intimidad y de esta conexión, el querer siempre estarse abrazando, tocándose, se ve que ya hay mayor conexión que con otros porque no reaccionan igual con los demás y los demás no siempre están así, ellos les digo, es constante arreglarse la ropa, abrazarse, dormir juntos, darse de comer en la boca. Y pues bueno, también hay contacto disimulado como aquí. Es claro que en este evento estaba en una fase de cortejo que a la postre se los consolidó como una pareja. Ahora se pueden observar en un video más reciente que se dan muestras de afecto en público a la menor provocación. Los brazos alrededor de todo el torso de la otra persona indican un nivel de posesión profundo. No solo busca sentir a la otra persona, sino que grita a las demás que zorras este chico es mío, este chico ya tiene quien le suelta su tiendita. El que uno esté como sanguijuela sobre el otro no parece importarle, sino por el contrario, proyecta que lo hace sentir muy cómodo. Bueno, que tenemos las conclusiones. En este otro material analizado no hace más más que confirmar que ya hubo un proceso de atracción como pareja, que fue correspondido y que Ta y Kuh se cogieron mucho cariño. Las muestras de afecto mostradas en público no solo comunican que uno de ellos es posesivo y dominante, sino que también que el otro le agrada esa relación con una pareja sentimental. Cada parte del cuerpo, cada parte de su cuerpo mostraron, al menos en estos videos analizados, la tensión y la enorme atracción que sienten entre sí en la pareja llamada Taeku. Ok, Big Sisters. Those are the three famous experts in body language. And those three experts just analyze Taekook body language. And if you want me to summarize what did they say during that analyze of them, they have only concluded one common explanation and that is Jacob is absolutely showing behaviors of two people having a relationship because Jacob always seems to attract each other, needs to be close to each other, touching each other's body part, even private parts, and those body experts body language experts rather even said that those things touching of each other's body leaning towards each other always keeping themselves accompanied with each other hugging with each other they cook always have the urge to come to each other and hug to feel the connection between them is what exactly defines a couple so now let's continue also shout out to other professionals like aurora and vico kism that have also made content pointing out their observations about takeup so these are the people also have mentioned or point who pointed out observations of takeup especially to those take of suspicious interactions. Now, let's read the second suggestion. Again, the first suggestion mentioned about how to identify a real couple from a fan service 
it was suggested that a real couple holds it back. A real couple always have the connection to go to each other anytime. They have the kind of magnet that pulls them together, to be together, to hold each other's hand, to do whatever they want to do, even in front of the camera. That was the first suggestion. And you can also notice that we can easily identify if it's fan service because it won't go very far with those sexual tension just as like take a cup. Now let's read the second suggestion. If the company promotes them, there is almost zero chance that they are a real couple. Like let's be realistic. Korea is very homophobic. The company will never ever promote like real promotion, not one or two collaborations. A real ship unless it is an extreme situation where the company will have to do it. It is a suicidal if the fans find out about it. The company is really not that eager for fans to find out about idols relationship status, but if you want but if you just want to ship for fun and you are new to this shipping then i encourage you to ship the ones that the company promotes because that's just easy for life i used to ship a few that were promoted by the company and i was very happy about my experiences also for people who are shipping across groups i generally don't recommend it though it's easy to spark fan war pay attention to the ones where the company start to delete the videos about them if your cross group ship really sales more or less these two don't even know each other personally or they are really just friends okay the main point in the suggestion number two Pico sisters is that if you ship a specific K-pop idols, whether it is from different groups, when the time the company will promote it, it would definitely be a suicidal act for them because if the fans would find out that it is a fan service, the company would definitely go down, right? Now, analyze that the company wouldn't promote this kind of relationships the homo as let's be honest in this video it was mentioned that korea is not accepting the lgbtq member right now in the case of daekook let's put daekook as the example it was mentioned in the suggestion number two that if the company promotes that ship there could be a chance that that ship is just for fan service just to make the fans scream about those about their idols loving each other or maybe being sweet with each other but what really got my attention in this suggestion number two is this statement if this company starts to delete videos about the ship or even hide any photos or moments about the ship that's when that ship is definitely real and what do you think is they cook the cook sisters we have been seeing a lot of deletion from the in the soup episode of bts before it was very clear that the editor really edited the part that Taeyong went out from jk's room and that is exactly what is referred to this suggestion number two 
that if the company starts to delete moments or videos about the ship, that would definitely means that that ship has really something real and that ship could be a real relationship. Now, Vicok sisters, I'm sad to inform you, but I will end this video right here. I hope that I could still continue the part two tomorrow, so just stay tuned for that. I would really love to explain analysis for you. So, I hope that we'll see each other again tomorrow because I will be explaining more of this video right here.